Well, greetings and salutations, Series 7 test takers. This is the Series 7 guru coming to you from my studio in fabulous Las Vegas with an explication request. This is one of my pet peeves on test prep vendors who give Series 7 candidates what would be a Series 4 question. Now, so I'm going to go over this. I'm not even sure I'm going to put it in the Series 7 playlist. I'll put it in the uh, Series 4 playlist for sure. And maybe I'll put it in the Series 9 playlist. So here's the, the setup. The customer buys a 55 call at 7. He writes 260 calls at 4. And then he buys a 65 call at 2. I'm not going to show you a diagram of this, but if I did, it'd look like a butterfly. I will link to my video that's in the Series 4 playlist on butterfly spreads and some of these advanced strategies. Uh, but you should be able to do a T on any option strategy. So here we go with the setup, right? So I paid $700 for the call. I brought in $800 for the options, right? That's two contracts. A butterfly is a three-part strategy. Long butterfly uh, is when we have a lower strike call that we buy. We sell two of the middle strike calls and then we buy a higher strike call. And then we bought that 65 call for two. So that's my initial setup. So I'm out 900 and I brought in 800. So my loss, and that was the question here, is uh, when these contracts expire, right? It'll be out 100 bucks. You should know that anytime you spend money, the worst case is you're going to lose it, right? So that was the answer to the question they were asked, which is totally outrageous. I'm not going to throw this test prep vendor on the bus, but it's my pet peeve with them. The Kaplan QBank is the best QBank and mimicking what you're going to see on the actual test. And uh, the sad part is it can cause people to waste lots of time that is better spent elsewhere, whether it's this or margin, the same test prep vendor, man, on margin. My God, it's incredible. You could be a margin clerk if you can figure out their margin questions. All right, so uh, a spread has two, a butterfly spread has two break-evens. And again, if uh, you are a series four or a nine and you get something like this, I would just shop my answer set and I would just plug in what's offered to me as the break-evens and do my T and I'd be able to kind of drain the swamp. But the way we get the lower break-even, the lower strike uh, break-even is we take the lower strike 55 plus the net premium, which is one for 56. And I'm just going to illustrate to you that indeed that would make the columns break-even because that's what break-even is. Same dollars out as dollars in. And now I'm going, by the way, if you did the math, you net those columns, they have the same dollars out as it. Now I'm going to show you 64. We buy the stock at 55. We're going to exercise our 55 call because we're going to have to deliver at 60. Right? We're obliged to sell 200 shares. I can get 100 of those by exercising my 55 call. The other 100 shares, I'm going to have to go in the open market and buy at 6,400 to deliver at 6,000. And again, if you do the math, both of those have the same dollars out as dollars in, 12.8. And then our max gain is going to be the difference in the uh, strikes, the lower strike and the higher st uh, middle strike, 55 and 60. The ideal price is 60 because then the uh, 60 calls expire. I exercise my 55 call and I sell for six. And again, I would have the same dollars out as dollars in. So again, that would be our break even. In this case, that's $400, right? The 500 less the 100 I paid to get going. Anyways, remember, inch by inch, your test prep vendor questions are not a cinch, <laughs> but your actual <laughs> exam is. I hope you found that helpful. I would waste no time on Series 7 on butterfly spreads. I will link to my ratio, my little video, if you'd uh, like to watch it. Anyways, uh, like I say, I'm pretty frustrated with this particular test prep vendor because there's just so much other things you could be doing with your time that would be way more productive.